Welcome to the Loveland Report and the Lona Ranger Show. I am Cleve Loveland, Central Florida's voice of real estate, alongside Bruce Woodburn, the Lona Ranger, giving you all of your real estate and mortgage news every weekend here on WDBO, as we've been doing for years and years and years and years. And years and, and years. years. So, uh, Bruce, the big thing right now, it's funny, I'm seeing it in the news. There's not really much to talk about. Um, you know, stock market's terrible. White House is terrible. Um, interest rates are going up. Yeah, and it's like, and so what you're getting is... I trying, can get toilet paper right now, though. Yeah, yeah. I have toilet paper and but, paper towels. You, the, the real estate headlines you're seeing, though, are about how sales are plummeting. And then I look at the stats, and they quote stats saying, sales are down 2%. And right. are, are we heading towards a buyer's market? And it's like, you know, to be a buyer's market, things that have to get pretty bad, and it's not going to shift in, you know, in one month. Now, inventory did double. But when you look at it, we jump back to about where we were about three years ago or before the pandemic, 2018, right. 19. That's about where we're at. Sales. It, so where does that put us the, in terms of supply? Then? Supply, we're at about six weeks, five to six okay, weeks. Okay, so we went and, up another and week. I, and I bet you that will climb to about two or three months. But we've got to have a six-month supply. To be, to be balanced. And sales didn't go down that much. You know, there's probably about, on average, Central Florida, there's about 3,500 to 4,500 new, or excuse me, resale home sales. Probably about another two thousand a month of builder home sales, new right. new sales. So there's still ten thousand people moving around every month. Sure. When, like, and, and to give you some perspective, during the pan uh, during the pandemic, during the bubble, sales went down to about eight hundred a month, not thousands of sales because nobody could buy. People were stuck in their home or they had bad credit, their mortgage, they were behind on their mortgage, things like that happened. So we're in a good we're in a good market. It will stay where prices are rising. But what's happening is I'm getting multiple offers on the sellers that, that listen to me, mm-hmm. and we price it tight, price it right where it needs to be. Don't be, you know, pigs get fat, hogs get slaughtered. Don't go too high on the price. I'm looking at homes, like I just listed one for um, for 499 All the neighbors were at 550 I'm not right. worried about them. They're, no. Those people, and these are the same size homes, some some without pools. Some Mine's got a pool. Well, so sellers are getting more more reasonable, and they're negotiating. They need to be, or else they're going to be on the market for a while. Because the other headline I'm seeing is that, oh my gosh, seventy percent of all sellers out there had to adjust their price. Well, but they were but they were priced ten percent over market yeah, or five yeah. percent over market, market value anyway, and that's just an adjustment. I for, personally, personally, I like everything about what is happening to the market right now. I like everything about it except for one thing. And that is interest rates being higher. I don't like interest rates being higher, but I have to put that in perspective that on a, on a, on a 40 year average, we're still under the average because yeah. the average is seven and Are we around six. Well, no, we're, we're well into the sixes now. Okay. We're right. put, and, and after this week's, uh, mm-hmm. Fed hike, you, we're, we're pushing 7%. Wow. But, but you know what? Here's the deal. We're not at seven and a half yet. And, I think that even with the rate hike that the Fed's made, it, in the next couple of weeks, it might even settle back down just a little bit. Yeah. But you have to remember, mortgage rates are not tied to prime. Okay, they're tied to the bond market. There's a relationship, but it doesn't run. There's a relationship, right exactly with but, it. But it doesn't. It 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 stirs things up for us, and there is some correlation. But I will tell you that mortgage rates are tied to the bond market, not to prime rate. So when the Fed hikes prime or the Fed rate, it does not it does not directly affect mortgages. It indirectly affects mortgages. Are you have you seen an appetite yet for arms? Have you got any good arms? I'm that- already starting to do some seven and ten year arms, but I'm not I'm not like super enthusiastic about them because here's the way I look at them. The arms become more favorable the higher that interest rates get. Now, I can save somebody maybe a half a point in interest rate on an adjustable rate. But what happened back in the in the recession, back when people were getting mortgages and adjustable rates in 2005 and 6, 4, 5, and 6, they were under the impression that everything would be okay. And then what happened is, is that when that adjustable rate became time to modify to a short-term adjustable, because they don't stay fixed for long. Yeah. It's either 5, 10, <clears throat> 7, it's yeah. 10 years, right? But when that modification happens, it goes to a higher rate almost immediately. And what happened is people didn't anticipate that, and then they got screwed, and then they went into foreclosure. So I'm still 
I'm still doing 90% of my mortgages are fixed rate. But a seven-year arm is locked for seven. So if we know the kids are going off to college, this won't be your forever home, your job transfer, your retirement. And I'm doing more of those. I just still have 90% of the loans I'm doing are still fixed rates. Because And here's what I'm telling people. Even the adjustable rates, they're not like, woo, that's a great rate. Yeah. Like nobody's singing around on that. Yeah. And listen, with Cleve and I, you know you get the real deal. You get the truth about what's going on in the industry. Don't fall for a lot of these shenanigans you're hearing on the radio and on the news because the real deal is the rates are up and so are adjustable rate mortgages. So if I'm going to refinance you anyway, and I bet, I would gather and bet that if you get a mortgage right now, and you're getting a mortgage, and I encourage you to get them because forget the rate, you're dating the rate, you're married to the house. I'm going to refinance you sometime within six months or 36 months. It's going to happen. We're going to do a refinance. Forget about it. So people come back to me, Cleve, and they'll go, well, well, that's going to cost me money to refinance, isn't it? Yes, it's going to cost you money to refinance. But there's a savings, and you calculate that savings. I will calculate the savings, and I will make sure that the savings is worthwhile. So when we do that, but you think about this, the cost of waiting is more. Because right now, how much has houses gone up already this year? They're probably up about, oh, they're up over last year. Median price is up about 20%. Well, but just this year alone. Just this year, probably 10. It's 10 to 15% right yeah, now yeah. In, in our area. So if it only went up 5%, Cleve, just five. Yeah. And you had to refi, and it cost you five grand to refi. Yep. And, but you made 5% in one year. On your $400,000 house. On one year. Yep. It still made a better, it still yeah. was better for you. Yeah. So you're going to have to do What's it. What's your number for people to 407 250 Nine one four 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 zero seven two five zero nine one four four or we bring you home dot com for the loan arranger and for Loveland Properties for the realtor that will never ever pay a radio celebrity money to tell you how great I am four zero seven three five two eight one one eight and barely takes a day off yeah yeah no I need a vacation yeah you do need, you do need we've been vacation. busy I mean I've got a lot of people but coming you, to me you you and I and, and Brenda and Michelle have dinner plans we do that'll be nice so it's that about will be time nice. we got that on the books so we got um but I think this market right now I'm getting a lot of people help you know calling me for help because they really want to know you know I've got a s- staging checklist I've got some people I'm talking to that really aren't selling till after the holidays but we did some remodel plans for them they're, they want to do flooring. They want to do some different things. So I, you know, they're selling eight hundred thousand dollar house. I pull up houses for a million five, and look at how those are decorated, brand new homes. Right. Give them some ideas on that. Those are the trends. Those are the colors people want to see. You decorate your five hundred thousand dollar house like a million dollar home, and I'm not talking spend the same money on the imported tile, travertine tile, or whatever it might be, um, or special wood trim and 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 all kinds of wood. Uh, cornices on your ceilings and things. I'm talking about just look at the colors, patterns, look at the schemes, look at how they're decorated, the style of cabinetry, things like that. Okay, you're not going to do golds and sea foam in your house right now. No, okay? please don't do. Please that. don't do that. So just like the sculpted. Even green. if you're on the beach, you don't need to do sea foam. Okay, <laughs> just do an off white or a gray, and then put some sea foam color <laughs> pictures up and maybe some. Exactly. Colors. Yeah, if you have to have that. But that's that's what's mm-hmm. important. I advise people on that. I can give them a fifty point staging checklist. And staging is not where you're paying somebody to rent their furniture. An unemployed realtor couldn't make it in real estate. They go work as a stager. I'm talking about just prepping the house decorations, too many couches in one room, too many chairs, getting rid of clutter, storing stuff, clearing off the countertops. I've got a 50-point checklist I've developed on this. And and typically we spend 1% to 2% of the price of a home on getting it ready to sell. I just had a gentleman. Um, it's funny. He couldn't get rid of a tenant. We finally got rid of him. When I started talking to him a year ago, the house was 270 Well, we're 330 now. Right. So it's one of my listings there, 322 So it's a great starter home in St. Cloud. And I've got that um, three two sixteen hundred square feet for three twenty two nine, and that's fresh, a, what a starter home. Fresh paint. Come on, guys. Yeah. I mean, you, you can get qualified. Roof with was me done. Today. AC was done. Yeah. I mean, that's a great price. I mean, you can't. I would buy that one, um, but Brenda would shoot me because we got too many in our leapfrog program right now. Yeah. So. Well, listen. Call Cleve at four zero seven three five two eight one one eight, and call me to get your loan set so that he accepts your offer when he's entertaining offers. How's your uh, How's your hometown heroes program going? I'll tell you what, it's killing it. So I'm loving helping heroes, okay? There's, there has not been a state funded or federally funded program for heroes in probably 15 to 20 years that I can recall. Now, you have teachers, you have law enforcement, first responders, 
uh, you have healthcare workers, all that are qualifying for Hometown Heroes, you can get up to $25,000 towards your closing costs and your uh, down payment and your escrows. Now, we're combining that with some other incentives that Cleve and I are doing to be able to help give even more money back to the buyer uh, out, of, out of real estate commissions. Now, I'm going to tell you something. There is absolutely no reason for you not to buy a home right now if you are a first responder. Now, this is for first-time home buyers, right? Yep. You can, which, in, in our world, a first-time home buyer is not really even a first-time home buyer. It's somebody that has not owned ho- a home or a primary residence in the last three years. So you could have owned possibly an investment property. Maybe you, and if you're a veteran, you're exempt from the first-time home buyer thing. You can't buy a non-primary residence on the hometown heroes but you can get another home and you didn't if you owned a home or you just sold it you can still qualify again so now with a veteran think about this veteran and usda are both zero down payment loans yeah, right yeah. so you have no down payment so you can buy a five hundred and fifteen thousand dollar house and get twenty five thousand dollars in government cheese money okay yeah. so now and you have no money down that covers all your closing costs, probably gives you a ton of money to buy down the rate, right? Yeah. I mean, you, you, it's just, or buy down the loan. It's just, it's huge. So why wait? If you want to get qualified to buy a home, don't call and cry about the rate. Everybody's crying about rates right now. I'm crying about rates right now. But we were going to refinance you. Later we'll refinance you. But don't rent. Rent is 100% interest only you're only pay you're making the landlord rich and i love you yeah if you're renting from yeah. me but i'm trying to help you not I'd rather rent. see you build some wealth how much, I'd time rather, we, how much time we got uh we got about uh three minutes three okay. and a half minutes left but cleve give your number out for me one more time 407-352-8118 or go to lovelandreport.com yeah or call the loan arranger get your mortgage all set up i am a direct lender i'm in all 50 states there is no middleman your rates are unbelievable with me uh i have every loan program you could possibly think of uh and i think that my team and my branch here have the best service of any mortgage company I've ever seen. And I know that because of my Google reviews, my Yelp reviews, my Zillow reviews, they tell the story. Check me out. Check me out on YouTube. You call me, you will get an appointment with me. You get, you actually get a return phone call. Like I call people on Mondays from our shows Mm -hmm. where I have loan officers on call on the weekend, but they'll call me and go, well, yeah, is the loan arranger going to call me? And I'm like, this is me. And they're like, really? And I'm like, yeah, it's just me. I'm really nobody special. Like Believe me. Me. I run a tight team and I go on most of my listing appointments and I, and I know what's going on in the market, but I also have a team in my office so I can go back and talk to that seller every two, two to three weeks on what's happening. If you didn't sell, who did? Giving them a market review and saying, here's the houses you like. How do we want to proceed? And what's going on with the feedback? What's happening? It's going to be really important. You know, if you get five realtors to a house, what'd they think? Sure. You know, and what, you what need is, that feedback. What, you need that feedback. Did you find out they bought something down the street because it was bigger, better price, all those things. But if you need help, give me a call, 407-352-8118. Yeah, and uh, we've got some classes coming up. Uh, we're doing a, uh, a real estate class that is not just first-time home buyers, but we will also be covering our LeapFrog program, and that is going to be on August the 17th. Now, listen, the venue... I'm changing because I love the Outback, but we had an outdoor venue, and I swear it was 497 degrees in there, and I'm not doing it there anymore. So I'm looking for a venue that Cleve and I can do some events for somewhere around the Winter Park area that will buy the food. We need the venue for free. All right. That way we're not charging exorbitant rates for people to get into these seminars. So if you know something, let me know. Uh, I am absolutely interested. 407-250-91, uh, so I've given half of my number in half years. 407-250-9144 or webringyouhome.com and Cleve Loveland can always be reached at his amazing team at 407-352-8118. We'll be back in five minutes with more of the Loveland Report and the Lone Arranger Show with Cleve Loveland and Bruce Woodburn, the Lone Arranger. Stay tuned. i got some juicy stuff for you. It's going to really encourage you to buy when we come back.